The city of South San Francisco welcomes its newest art installation titled Our South City. Located at Gardner Park, this mural was created by Bay Area artist Ron Norris, where he takes us on a whimsical journey of South San Francisco's history from past to present, highlighting some of the city's most iconic locations. We invite you to visit the mural at Gardner Park here in South San Francisco. In the meantime, join us as we get to know Saran, his career, journey as an artist, fun facts, including his artistic influence in one of the newest murals, Our South City at South San Francisco's Gardner Park. Ron Norris. I'm out here in South San Francisco here at Gardner Park. I helped design this park and now I helped design this mural. We're about to paint it right now. You're going to be able to see it in a bunch of different stages. So come with us, enjoy, and check this mural out. What was your favorite subject in middle school? Wow, middle school. That's such a specific question. Art. Soccer or basketball? Basketball. What advice would you give to your younger self? Uh, um, uh, uh, go to college further away. Dream place to create a new mural? Africa. Beach or mountains? Beach. What's your favorite color to work with? Black. What's your burrito order? Um, uh, vegetarian burrito, no cream, no, no cheese. No crema, no queso. <laughs> what artist, living or dead, would you most like to have dinner with? Oh, Salvador Dali would probably be an interesting dinner. Favorite song? Favorite song? Um, uh, uh, what a Fool Believes by Doobie Brothers. Favorite living musician? Sade. What was the first commission piece you ever completed? That's an interesting question. I feel like, um, I think like the first legit one was my, um, uh, my summer before college, I worked at an amusement park and um, my job was uh, to make height signs, to paint height signs. So that was my first kind of commission. My first art job was to paint their character, which was Duchess, this dog, and make, you know, illustrated characters of the dog saying you have to be this high to, to get on the ride, you know? So that was like kind of my first kind of artistic commission, I guess. Who's your favorite Bob's Burgers character? Uh, Louise. How did you get involved in animation? I think it's a byproduct of cartooning. What's your favorite holiday? Wow, that's tough. Uh, it's for someone who doesn't really like holidays. Um, St. Patrick's Day? Describe your style in three words. It's cartoon literalism. What's the inspiration behind your blue bear character? Uh, the, the bear and what the bear symbolizes uh, in terms of its duality. Uh, as far as how society perceives a bear, so we, you know, we, we perceive bears as grizzly bears, very scary, could, you know, eat you, or um, teddy bears. Nice, cuddly, cute. Um, that to me is a metaphor for love um, because that's what love can be. It can be super horrible or it can be um, beautiful. And uh, uh, at the time when I was creating 
my language cartoon literalism, uh, I wasn't married or in a relationship, so my bear was blue because it was depressed. And I just kind of kept going with that. Uh, uh, not that I was depressed, but I just started to kind of create uh, uh, more of a language and more of a brand off my characters. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Probably super hearing. Cats or dogs? Dogs. <laughs>
say something very intense through a cartoon. And if you said that same exact thing through, you know, a realistic illustration, it would be completely unacceptable. It would be completely dark. It would be completely taken uh, out of context. But with the, with the veneer of a cartoon, things are a little bit more acceptable and a little bit more open and people are willing to at least take a look at it. And, and there's power in that. Um, there's power in uh, using that to then uh, educate people uh, or, or send messages to them uh, using that aesthetic. So it gets, it seeps in uh, to the person uh, a lot easier. If you weren't an artist, what would you be doing? Magician. A magician? <laughs> Favorite pizza topping? Uh, olives. If you could offer one piece of advice to young aspiring artists, what would it be? Uh, get off Instagram. What would you like to be remembered for? My work.